Hi guys and welcome to today's video tutorial. Today we'll be teaching you all of the editing tools in HitFilm for WordPress. So here I've just got a normal HitFilm project open. So what are the editing tools? Well, they're pretty much all these tools down here and you can use them to really streamline the way uh, that your workflow is when you're editing your videos in HitFilm 4 Express. So let's dive right in. First of all, we've got the Select tool. The Select tool is a multi-purpose tool that you can use for the majority of your basic trimming. In other words, there are a bunch of things you can do with Select tool. So for example, you can select a clip, like so, to change its properties or to do other things with it. You can also move them around. So I can move this right, move this left. I can also move this into another video layer or I can trim it by just dragging on the end until I see this sign and just trimming it to make it shorter. The next tool is the hand tool uh, or the drag tool and what you can do with this is you can simply drag around your timeline. Uh, you're not actually changing the position of any clips or anything but you're just dragging around uh, so that you can have a look at your timeline. The next tool is the slice tool and you can use this to slice individual clips into multiple clips so that you can edit, trim, move, apply different effects to each clip uh, individually. The next tool is the slip tool. Now slip edits are useful for adjusting the in and out points of a clip without affecting its length or its position in the timeline. So for example, this clip here has been trimmed at both the beginning and the end. And what I can do is I can change where it begins. So for example, at the beginning here, it doesn't actually begin at the very beginning of where the media starts. So if I just click and drag on this clip, if I drag it right, I can make it start at 0, 0, as we can see the timeline there. Now up top in the viewer, we can see on the left screen, that's where it starts. And on the right screen, that's where it finishes. And as we drag it around, we can see that we can change it so that it finishes later and starts later, or it starts earlier and finishes earlier as well. The next tool is the slide tool, and it's used for quickly moving the position of a clip in the timeline relative to those before and after it. So the selected clip's duration and out point do not change, but the previous clip's out point and the next clip's in point are adjusted automatically to accommodate the slid clip. So what I can do is I can just change the position of this clip, but normally what I'd have to do to do that is drag this over this clip and then also extend this. But we can get rid of those that extra step by just dragging on this and it will move the crescent moon clip forward or backward uh, and it will shorten or lengthen uh, the clips left and right of it. One of my most used tools is the Ripple Edit tool. And it's like the Select tool in that it can trim clips, move them around and all sorts of things. But when you trim clips, instead of it just trimming the clip like normal, it will drag everything back so that it all snaps back rather than you having to do it manually. And this saves a lot of time, a lot of work, and uh, it makes things much easier when you're editing. You can also Ripple Delete gaps or clips themselves. You don't even need to be in the Ripple Edit tool, but if you want to Ripple Delete a clip, simply right click on it and press Ripple Delete Object, or use the keyboard shortcut, and it will just delete it and move everything else back forward. Alternatively, if you have a gap, you can right click and Ripple Delete Gap, and it will move everything back forward to fill the gap. On to the last two tools, we have the Roll Edit tool, which is very useful, and it's for essentially changing the position that you cut in your video. By using this Roll Edit tool, on a cut in a video where between two clips, you can change the out point of the first video and the in point of the second video. So what you can do is, for example, move this around and it'll just lengthen the first clip and shorten the second clip, or it'll lengthen the second clip and shorten the first clip. And in this way, we can change the actual timing of the cut, but not change the actual position of both videos. Again, it's one of those tools that just saves you an extra step. And finally, we have the rate stretch tool. The Rate Stretch tool enables you to change the playback speed of a video by either squishing it or stretching it. So for example, rather than just trimming this video, what this has actually done is it's actually squished it so that, yes, the last frame is still the last frame of the video, and the first frame is still the first frame of the video here, and so to do that it's pretty much just sped it up. You can also Rate Stretch it back out, and also Rate Stretch it further out. So for example, if I just delete this clip, Go back to my rate stretch tool. We can now, uh, sorry, we can now rate stretch this out, and uh, you can see the new duration, and it's now going to play back at roughly half the speed. So that's essentially all of the basic tools. 
There's also a few extra things, for example this snapping here. Snapping can be used to make sure that your clips snap back uh, into the other clips without leaving any gap, or also into the playhead like so. But if you have it turned off, you can probably make more precise uh, changes close to uh, your playheads or to the end of videos like so. You also have a bunch of options for changing things like your speed and your duration as well as your blend mode uh, and transform options when you right click on your video. So thank you guys for watching this video, I hope this was helpful and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay shiny. Bye!